Hello again, my name is Chrissy Laxer, and we would like to share with you some of the video podcasts that we've created for our Culinary and Lifestyle Cookbook. I'm David Laxer, and today in this episode, we have Hab Hamde from Burn Steakhouse. Today we are making a truffle steak tartare, also one of my personal favorites, with our chef de cuisine of Burn Steakhouse, Habtib Hamde, and of course our owner of Burn Steakhouse, Chrissy Laxer, which I also know this is one of her personal favorites. So Hab, why don't you tell us what are we starting with in terms of the garnish? Well, the secret is to use fresh and the highest quality meat you can find. At the steakhouse, we use USDA prime tenderloin for the truffle steak tartare. Dice shallot, dice red onion, the jam mustard, black truffle mm -hmm. oil, yum, Worcestershire sauce, gherkin that gives the steak tartare sweetness and tang. Chopped parsley, celery, red bell pepper, and capers. Oh. Grated garlic. These are you told me are quail eggs, which will be the last part of the steak tartare. They're a little bit more delicate and richer than a regular egg. You can find them in any store. All right, so let's get chopping. I'm not even sure where to begin, so. When you chop in the steak, the tenderloin or any meat, the best thing is to cool the steak. Maybe put it in the freezer for like five to 10 minutes. You do that so fast and perfect. <laughs> I do this. Have you done this a few times? I think you have had. I do this many times. <laughs> This is one of our biggest sellers in the steakhouse as far as uh, tartar comes. Chrissy, can you tell me like when you remember having this for the first time? I was a little reluctant uh, because as you know that the tartar is raw. It's one of my girlfriends, Jennifer, she really loved it and so she encouraged me to do it and I couldn't have been more grateful. Since then, it's been one of my favorites as well as David's. So now we're gonna put all of these ingredients in the bowl. And this was kind of interesting how you sort of made it like a little cooler so that it keeps the bowl chilled. Chilled, yes. That and way the whole thing stays cold. Now does it matter what order you put these particular ingredients no. in? No. Well, they're all going to go in there. Uh, okay. Bring it down in. <laughs> it's just a hodgepodge of deliciousness, Ham. About <laughs> teaspoon of shallot. They're all about equal part. I'm pretty positive that I can't walk into a grocery store and buy a truffle that looks like that. Um, but you can in like specialty markets. Yes, but uh, I'm not sure in Tampa. <laughs> I don't think Tampa is that big. So and for those think... viewers in New York, Atlanta, New Orleans, or other places, you're lucky. <laughs> teaspoon of travel oil, a little bit uh, more than a teaspoon of the jam mustard. Okay. Half teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Now when you mix in this, mm -hmm. don't whip it, like cut and fold. Oh, okay. All the aromatics really come out when you turn that around. This is, like I said earlier, one of my favorite things. I get mad if the meat station people don't make extra. <laughs> now every time I order this, I really see how much like care and love goes into it. How these are all made to order, of course, at the steakhouse, but could somebody do a couple of these and prepare something else while they're, it's waiting? No, you can. Uh, a lot of times when that happens, the meat will oxidize. Right, so it really it's should be done and served to, immediately. To, to order, yes. Voila! So now, for the piece de resistance, cook the yolk, Try the yolk. and take the yolk out of the white, correct? Correct. And usually you just put one or two on it. Does it matter? Two. Two? You can okay. Put two. If you like more, you can put more. Okay. I'm going to cut the yolk out. That just smells unbelievable. And then just delicately place it on top of the tartare. It's just smiling at me. <laughs> it's ready for me to eat it. Oh, and more truffle? Just I guess you can never have enough truffle, right? <laughs> just a little bit. So I think I'm becoming like an expert at slicing yolks. Oh, see, look at that. Just as young as it always is. Thank you, Nab. We appreciate it. It's so good. This is our final product of our steak tartare.